The trend continues. Another central Oregon city has banned the use of fireworks. Max Goldwasser joins us with the latest details. Max, it's kind of hard to be surprised. We've seen a lot of this recently. Yeah, we have Lee. Lapine is just the latest in a string of cities and local governments to declare a state of emergency, and that means no fireworks allowed through July 9th. And they're not the only ones with that kind of policy. Another day, another fireworks ban in Deschutes County, this time in Lapine, where city officials declared a state of emergency. This comes as Oregon has been seeing record-setting temperatures statewide, and even though we are no longer in the triple digits, the fire threat is still very much alive. So Lapine now follows in the footsteps of Bend, Redmond, and Deschutes County, where fireworks are not allowed through July 9th. And if you're caught, you could face a hefty fine between $100 and $500 in Lapine, up to $500 in Redmond, and up to $750 in Bend. And these places are no exception. Sisters put a ban on the sale and use of fireworks. Sun River says no go as well. Same with Portland, Ashland, and cities in other parts of the state. But some areas still have the green light, including Crook County. But Crook County Judge Seth Crawford says just use common sense. Well, more specifically, he says Crook County will not be creating any special rules or bans on fireworks for Independence Day. We trust that our citizens can celebrate July 4th responsibly without burning our county down. These bans, though, do not apply to the professional shows happening on July 4th. Those are still allowed because they've been approved by the state fire marshal. The heat, of course, is the main reason for all these bans, but recent history supports the move as well. The state fire marshal's office says between 2014 and 2019, there were nearly 1,200 fireworks-related fires in Oregon, resulting in almost $5 million in property loss, 37 injuries, and one death.